when I saw your company and when I first heard about your company, you were basically offering a credit card, corporate credit cards to smaller startups uh, that maybe uh, can't get traditional financing from a bank. I mean, what are you giving them that they can't get from American Express or MasterCard? So, um, so first, thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. um, but what we realized while living in Silicon Valley is that there were multiple startups there that had raised millions of dollars and either they couldn't get a corporate credit card and they didn't necessarily want the credit behind a card, they just wanted something to pay for stuff day to day, mm -hmm. um, or they couldn't get a card or they, or they had to personally guarantee the card. Okay. Um, and a lot of founders like, hey, it's already a big risk to start a company. Um, if I had to put all my personal assets on the line as well, you know, it's less than ideal. So that's kind of where, how we started Brex. Enrique, why is Brex so capital intensive? You've raised more than $300 million, it appears now. Why do you need that sort of money? Where is it going? I think as a fintech startup, um, raising capital is part of our business for a few reasons. The first one is that we lend money out. So, you know, we need money to lend money. Um, and we, you know, last year, or early this year actually, we raised a hundred million dollar debt line with Barclays, but we still need to put some equity to work there. So I think that's part of it. And the second part is, um, I think our customers feel much more secure and safer if they feel that the company that's giving them credit and they're using to, to pay for things is highly capitalized. So um, I think those are the kind of the two main reasons. I think for any FinTech in general, um, being highly capitalized is extremely important. So talk to us, you said that you lend money out, and obviously that's a good reason to have capital. How do you gauge the credit worthiness of these startups, many of which are growing incredibly quickly, but also losing a lot of money? What kind of information do you need from them, and then how do you use that information to actually be able to determine whether they're um, you know, worthy of lending to? Yeah, so you know, um, the way we think about lending is that we don't bucket all SMBs into like one category and you say, hey, these are SMBs. We understand that startups are very different than e-commerce, there's very different in retail, hotels, professional services. So the first thing that we do is that in order to underwrite, we try to understand the reality of each vertical. And the thing about startups is that the health metric for a startup is if they have enough cash to survive over the next months. So that's the, the, what we get the most, is that we get access to their um, cash balances. And if they have cash, we give them a limit. If they don't have cash, we don't. It's pretty simple, actually. Talk to me a little bit about customer retention here, because I understand the appeal of this when it's a smaller company. But as these companies grow and mature and presumably are much more successful, um, how do you sort of retain that type of customer and, and prevent them maybe from going to a different type of financial company? So actually, the credit piece of it is just, um, I would say, a third of Brex value proposition. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say small companies, yes, they come because it's easy, there's no personal guarantee, we give high limits, it's very fast. But the reason they stay is because we, we the technology. So different than traditional banks, what Brex did is that we rebuild the entire core credit card processing system from scratch mm -hmm. versus the traditional companies which have uh, old systems that were built 30, 40 years ago. And because of that, that allows us to build a lot of functionality that didn't exist before and that actually optimize a lot of processes and make it simpler for employees or for employers to manage their corporate cards. Things, for example, expense management, it's super easy to do your expenses, no more you know, typing stuff into the app, mm -hmm. um, or easy user management, better reporting. So the technology piece of Brex mm -hmm. is what keeps companies as they grow. Uh, why is it called Brex? Because when you hear it, you think Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I wish I had a better, a better story for this, but, um, you know, as a startup, you're always trying to find a, a .com domain that's fairly cheap, and we found <laughs> Brex fairly cheap.